Hello guys, so in this video I'm going to introduce you to the concept of microservices in C-Sharp. This will be uh, the first lesson of a series um, and I will uh, explain to you the theory behind this architecture. So let's start by comparing the traditional architecture which is named monolith to the microservices architecture. So monolithic our architecture is, for example, used in ASP.NET MVC. So we have basically the a user using web browser to send requests to the ASP.NET MVC process, which is monolithic, which means that there is only one process which uh, re receives the request, processes this request, and returns uh, an HTML view in return. So everything is done within one monolithic process. So we can use also um, microservices ar architecture where we have the web browser sending request usually to, to an API gateway which is then routing this request to the appropriate microservice. So the whole application is split into multiple microservices. Each one of them is, is uh, um, is computing a s small part of the application. So, for example, if we have a bookstore application, one microservice would be used, for example, to um, to perform the sales operation. The other one would would be, for example, to um, generate reports or invoices. So, we split the domain into multiple smaller parts and each smaller part has a corresponding microservice. So the request comes from the web browser, it goes to the API gateway, so a sim there is a single point which re receives the request from user and then it routes the request to an, an appropriate microservice. So if the user would like to, for example, buy a book, uh, the user would then uh, send a request by book request to the API gateway. The API gateway would route this request to, for example, sales microservice and perform the corresponding logic. The microservices can also communicate between each other using usually message queues like RabbitMQ, for example, uh, and in uh, some scenarios also HTTP requests. Uh, but the message queues are more popular. So let's compare those, these two architectures and see where the advantages and disadvantages lie. So in monolithic architecture, the deployment is easy. We have only one process. In microservices, the deployment is harder because we have more, uh, more uh, services which ha have to be... Um, deployed but it is more flexible so for example i can only i am able to deploy only one part of the application in monolith i have to deploy the whole application if even if there is only a small change within a small portion of the application testing is easy in monolith Test, testing is harder in microservices because in microservices we have communication between multiple microservices so this communication means that um, the, the logic is far more complex and uh, it's harder to test complex scenarios because complex scenarios in many cases would utilize communication between the microservices. So testing this would require mocking these microservices, more preparation basically. Debugging is easy because there is only one process Again, for microservices it's harder because you have to set up uh, each microservices uh, separately before you can debug complex scenarios. Development in monolithic architecture is fast, but only for small applications. For the microservices it's also fast, but for bigger applications because the microservices uh, require you to write a lot of more, co more code so for smaller applications, this, this would mean that there is uh, code overhead. So basically you are writing much more code than, it, than is actually needed. Performance for Monolith is fast, but only for small applications. 
Microservices are fast, but more so for the bigger applications, where you can utilize the uh, capabilities of microservices more. For example, uh, scaling the microservices and so on. So let's go to the scalability low. We can basically just multiply the one process that we have. So we have multiple instances of one monolithic process. For microservices, we have highly scalable application because we can, for example, have multiple instances of a given single microservice. We don't need to multiply the whole application. Reli reliability is low for the monolith because if there is an uh, error, Inside of the pro process, the whole application usually goes down. For microservices, the re reliability is higher because if one microservice goes down, this doesn't necessarily mean that the whole application is down. Technological flexibility is low for Monolith because you pick technology one once and you have to stick to it. For microservices, you can have different language, different framework in each of these microservices. So there is more technological flexibility. Um, the only thing uh, which you have to consider is that these microservices have to communicate with each other. But it doesn't mean that one well, microservices, one of them might be written in C Sharp, the other one in Java. There is no, uh, no strict rules. Uh, in, in this scenario. So I think that this is a very basic introduction to the concept of microservices and how they relate to monolithic architecture. I hope that you understood th these concepts. Uh, I will develop this uh, microservices content uh, in the future more. Um, and I hope to see you soon in the future videos. Thank you.